One of those themes um, is talking about transgender individuals, but also two-spirit individuals. And instead of standing up here as a white trans guy and telling you about two-spirit individuals, uh, I looked to uh, a book that is an uh, inspiration to me and looked at this and wanted to share with you the words and voices of uh, some two-spirit individuals, which is included in uh, Transgender Warriors by Leslie Feinberg. And so uh, she went and did some interviews, and I'd like to share with you uh, some, of the, some of the responses that she received. One individual that she had heard of and sought out was uh, Spotted Eagle. Spotted Eagle was born in 1945. I grew up totally accepted. I knew from birth and everyone around me knew I was two-spirited. I was honored. I was a special creation. I was given certain gifts because of that, teachings to share with my people and healings. But that changed, not in my generation, but in generations to follow. There were no distinct pronouns in her ancient language, she said. There were three variations, the way women spoke, the way men spoke, and the ceremonial language. Which way of speaking did she use? I spoke all three. So did the two older Two-Spirit people on my reservation. Spotted Eagle explained that the White Mountain Apache Nation was small and isolated, and so had been less affected early on by colonial culture. As a result, the US government didn't set up the mission school system on the White Mountain Reservation until the late 1930s or early 1940s. Spotted Eagle said she experienced her first taste of bigotry as a two-spirit in those schools. I was taken out of the mission school with the help of my people and sent away to live with an aunt off reservation, so I didn't get totally abused by Christianity. I have some very horrible memories of the short time I was there. Now to move on to Christos, a two-spirit poet. Christos explains that it is not simply patriarchy, but it is the real word, colonization, and what it has done to the world. Patriarchy is a tool of colonization and exploitation of people and their lands for wealthy white people. The two-spirit tradition was suppressed, she explained. Like all native spirituality, it underwent a tremendous time of suppression, so there's gaps. But we've continued on with our spiritual traditions. We are still attached to this land and the place of our ancestors and manage to protect our spiritual traditions and our languages. We have always been at war. Despite everything, incredible onslaughts that even continue now, we have continued and we have survived. Back to Spotted Eagle. I asked her where she found her strength and pride. It was given to me by the people around me to maintain, she explained. If your whole life is connected spiritually, then you learn that self-pride, the image of self, is connected with everything else. That becomes part of who you are, and you carry that wherever you are. 